mint in the box or loose? That's the question. What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have sort of just a sit-down topic discussion video for you guys, and we may dive into some more collection-style videos as far as like mock and loose and those things. I'm still waiting on the big loose collection video. You guys know where I put all of my figures in a massive pile in the backstage area, and we go figure by figure, one by one, and kind of, you know, talk about each one. I try to give like a memory or something related to that figure. I say, you know, I say what the series is, maybe a fix-up that I've done to it and just kind of give a memory or a feedback about the figure from years previous. It's usually a two and a half, three hour video here on the channel and uh, everybody looks forward to it every single year and I still am going to do it for this year just kind of behind on things and uh, not a lot of space going on right now so I do need to clear off my entire shelf, put them into a giant pile, do the video but uh, right now we're kind of swamped but we will get that sooner or later. Hopefully we'll have that video out by the end of March is my plans there but today ladies and gentlemen I did want to dive into the sort of debate that goes on around the world right in the action figure community not just wrestling action figures wwe or aew or retros or any of that man this is something that i think action figure collectors or even just collectible collectors in general kind of go through in their brain and some of them are on one side hardcore or the other hardcore and then you have somebody like me that probably straddles the fence a little bit between both sides and i'm talking about mock in box or mint on card collecting versus loose or out of the box or posed around on the shelf displaying type of collection now, if you guys know me, if you've been around since the beginning of the channel, I don't know how many people out there have been around since the very beginning of the channel that are still subscribed. If anybody remembers my first few videos or has been around since the inception of the channel, what almost, I think it's five years ago now, which is insane to even think about. If you guys have been around since then, you have sort of seen a progression go from, from a guy who never even once considered mock collecting. It wasn't even my stratosphere. I was like, there's no way that I would ever do that. Like, I, I used to be super super hardcore against it and I didn't really even see the point in it a lot of the times like I remember being a kid and never really understanding why people kept things in the box and I always felt that you need to open your figures display them pose them around because that's where I get probably my most enjoyment out of collecting is posing them around and things like that and we're going to get into all those aspects of the video man that's what this video is all about where we kind of talk about the loose side the mock side you guys can give me your experience I'll give you my experience and I would love to know all of your stories what you think about mock collecting versus loose collecting down in the comment section below and just hear your reasons why you do one or the other the, the reason you don't do the other side and maybe you know your reasoning behind that and all those things man those are things that I would love to discuss down in the comment section below but let's get into a little bit of what I like to do and sort of how my uh, experience has changed over the years so when I first got into collecting especially as a kid I did not really care for mock collecting whatsoever or men on card collecting or keeping them in the box at all man like I opened all of my toys I, uh, I, I, I can't even think of a time where I kept something in the box I was definitely going to put on matches. I was going to play with my toys. I collected lines all over the place. For me, I was huge into Jax, not only WWE, but I was into Jax, Dragon Ball Z figures. I loved those. Those were a huge part of my childhood. I even, you know, when Toy Biz was making Marvel Legends, used to love those as well. But Jax, WWE figures, all different series, doesn't really matter the line. Of course, Dragon Ball Z figures, even the movie line figures, the like 12-inch ones, even the shorter 6-inch, like all the different ones. Collected all of those lines absolutely loved those. I wish I still had them. I, I may have some stored away somewhere but we did have like a flood in uh, I think it, uh, like the later 2000s and it kind of destroyed a lot of our stuff there which which did suck. But regardless of the fact, I didn't even care about men on car collecting whatsoever. It wasn't even in my jurisdiction, right? So fast forward to the channel and, and getting hardcore back into collecting actual figures and things like that. Again, not something that I really cared about, man. I wanted to take the figures out. I wanted to pose them around. I wanted to do things. And then once starting the channel, I wanted to, I wanted to put on these matches, right? I wanted to do pick fetting. I wanted to display it. Like, I want a figure that feels really good in the hand. If you're a mint, and ca mint on card collector, you really don't have to worry about those things. You don't have to worry about loose joints. You don't have to worry about really any of those things. I guess paint apps may apply, you know, if you find that figure you've been looking for, but the face isn't printed right. That would be really, really sucky. That would be terrible. So you do have that aspect of it, but as far as loose joints and stuff, you don't ever know because it's in the 
box. So that's not something that I looked at. But there were, as I've gotten a little bit older, as I've continued to collect and stuff like that, and seeing guys like Kyle Peterson and seeing guys around the community that collect men on card and things like that, it kind of made me want to expand on the collection, man. Like seeing all these full collections in box up next to each other was really inspiring. I thought it was awesome. And then when the AEW figures launched, I, for some reason, thought to myself, I'm going to try and complete this. I'm going to try to have a full men on card AEW figure collection and a full loose collection. And so far, I'm, we are missing some pieces, a couple pieces here and there, as, as well as the chase figures, as you guys know. We're, we're constantly on those, playing long game, trying to catch up little by little, as you guys can see. We've already knocked out a chase already this year, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, just seeing all those up next to each other and, and just the, the true vision that I have for the collection, man, should be insane once we, you know, we continue to get these sets and I'm able to display them. They're not all up on one shelf. When I can actually have the room to put them all up and have them in order and organized, it's going to be beautiful. So I am really looking forward to that. But it's just something that kind of evolved, man. Seeing a bunch of people around that started doing it. And as soon as the AEW figure line started, that's when I was like, you know what, man, this is a really good time to start doing this because a lot of times you don't get the jump on a new line, especially in the WWE Elite line. If you wanted to go back and get every single one of them mocked, that's something that I don't even consider. I may go back and get a couple here and there. There's a few pieces I'd like to see mock, but things like the Ultimate Edition line and certain lines like that that you can you can collect mock because you know you're not they're not too far gone, right? They're we're we're kind of early in the series, so it's not that hard to pick back up. But when you start a line from the very beginning in its inception, it's a lot easier to keep up with. Now I've always been a big fan of packaging. Like I've always thought that packaging was very fantastic, right? Like I've always loved the way boxes look. I think they really bring out a figure. And that's really the I think that really adds to a figure when it's meant in box. Now, the people that only collect mint in box, that kind of drives me crazy. I really don't see how that's possible. I know there are some people that don't take them out of the packaging whatsoever. And for me, that's a little weird just because you don't ever get to pose it around. You don't even have that element of collecting, right? Because you're you're always looking at the figure in box. So I'm going to present to you both sides of the coin here. So people that only collect loose, I think they really don't have any desire whatsoever to sell down the line. And I don't really buy to sell down the line. Now, if I find a rarer figure and it's mock and I have an extra one, it is kind of cool, you know, like this figure right here. I don't know if this figure will be worth a, a hill of beans in five years, but I have, I think I have 10 of the unmatched AEW Series 1 Kenny Omega. Now, is this going to be as rare as Elite 1 from Mattel? Probably not, right? It probably won't have that equal value, but it's become kind of an ongoing joke at this point why I have so many of these and like now it's just kind of a funny thing on the channel, but if it were to end up being super worth something, that would be really cool, I think, but even being a mock collector, I don't really look at like the future value of stuff. Like I think it's cool, but I don't plan on selling my figures. You know what I'm saying? Like I have them because I enjoy them. I enjoy collecting them. I enjoy reviewing them. I love the channel. I love this entire community. I love this entire hobby and everything to do with it. So loose collecting is awesome because I love to pose figures around. I love to pick fed and pose them around. You guys know we do matches. We do crazy stuff all the time. We do setups like posing figures around and having quality figures in hand is super fun. Like I don't know really what it is, but being able to recreate those matches that we watch on TV and our own matches and just pick fedding in general. If you ever did a pick fed match, man, like you would understand why it is so fun to pose around figures. Like it's really cool to see that come to life in a full production. And that's why I think loose collectors really care about. Like if you're a main loose collector, I think a lot of that is because you like to either play, pose, or display your figures in a creative way. And then on the mock side of things, I think you either love how the figure looks in packaging. Like you look at it in the box up on the wall and you think, damn, that looks sweet. And that is definitely a case for me. I think a lot of figures look really great mock. I mean, not all of them are perfect. Like Lance Archer back there in the regular AEW and Rival packaging, not the best looking figure mock, but you know, it is uniform. It looks great. I do like the uniformity of that packaging. I think the ringside exclusive packaging is really sweet. Some of the exclusives are really sweet as well. I think one of my first mock figures ever, I, ha I think I had a couple before this, but I just one of my earliest memories of having a mock figure is like the Toys R Us cash-in exclusive Seth Rollins. I remember getting that mock for like 50 bucks or something like that on eBay, and I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. I kept it mocked for a while, and then I finally caved in, and it's one of my favorite elites ever, and I haven't had a mock one since. It's one that I would like to get mock again, but I just love the way that figure looks in packaging. I love that style packaging, the colors and everything, the moment. It's just really awesome. So I think for me, as far as like men on card collecting, I just think it's so cool to have a full collection in the box. Like it's just so cool to see. It's so cool to display. I just think it looks epic and it, it kind of gives you like a goal, I guess, to, to search out. You know, it's kind of like a hunt that you're on. It's kind of like a goal that you're trying to obtain in the in your 
hobby, you know, in, in the community or whatever you're trying to do here. And not necessarily like to impress others, but just kind of like a challenge to yourself, something that you could do. And if you want to sell it later, you could always sell it later. Or it's just, I don't know, it's just a fun adventure that you're going on with yourself there. So, and that's really the whole point and experience of collecting in itself, right? It's all about fun. It's all about, you know, spreading that love and joy and, and, and our love of not only the sport of wrestling, but just collecting figures and toys and posing and just the whole creativity level of the entire hobby and community, which is what I talk about all the time. It's my favorite part of this community is the creativity behind it and how it kind of weaves it in itself with, you know, nostalgia and wrestling and, you know, growing up as a kid, man. It's, it's really, really awesome and cool and seeing all these people with these crazy collections, the figures that they find in the wild and, you know, trying to complete that mock set or, or just trying to get figures that you want to display or getting a really sick release that everybody enjoys. Just all wraps it up in a sweet freaking bow. So that's kind of where I stand with that, man. But I, know, I don't know if we completely stayed on topic every single aspect of this video, but it's just something I wanted to get on here and talk about, man. Just kind of talk about the loose side of collecting versus the mock side, why I kind of do both. And uh, I think it boils down to loose collecting. It's just, it's so fun to post figures around, uh, review them and show them off to you guys and do the comparisons and do the, the pick vetting, of course, and the crazy videos that we do there. And then, of course, you have your men on card collecting, which is something, again, I never thought I would do, man. Not even close. Didn't even think uh, it was really possible. Like, I, I just, I was just one of those guys that was like, never will really do that. Don't really want to do that. And now it's become, it's kind of added a breath of fresh air into collecting, really, where it gives me a new challenge and something to search after and things like that, man. So the hunt's always on, always constantly looking for things like that. And, you know, we may have gotten a bit carried away with the Kenny Omega and Match Series 1, but you know what? Uh, we'll look back one day and maybe in 10 years and people look back and say, you know, the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny is worth $100 a pop now. It's like, I, would I sell one? I don't know. Maybe. Who, who knows? You know, but that's not the goal, really. It's kind of just become this, this funny thing that, I don't know, it's just a dumb thing on the channel. But anyways, guys, down below is what I really care about. I want to know your experience with collecting. Are you a loose collector? Are you a mock collector? Or are you both like myself? I got everything going on over here, man. Constantly trying to complete collections and, and things like that. I definitely don't have any room anymore, honestly. Like, just no room whatsoever. I also just noticed that these have been on the rainbow setting, so I do apologize that. It's kind of distracting, so should have went with a constant color. I just am such a jackass for that. I do apologize for that, but let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Are you a mock collector? Are you a loose collector? Are you both? Let me know all those things, and please let me know your experience down below, why you don't collect mock or why you don't collect loose or vice versa, and uh, let me know all those things down below, man, because mock collecting is something I never thought I would do, but uh, here I am with, with 100 mock AEW figures, so, you know, just constantly just insane, but that's gonna wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I'm getting out here man subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like me and own 12 of that figure right here i don't if i count all the mock ones and the loose ones i think i have like 13 total mdt you cross the line